In less than two hours, we raised 250,000. Me and Jackie, but you can do it solo. You know. And bought our first captain ship. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. We're gonna roll the credits now. And then I'll see you on the other side. I hope everyone's having a great time. Today, we are we have a good schedule. So basically, we have a live guide today. I started brand new pirate. YouTube. Our goal in this video basically is from a brand new pirate to getting your first captain ship. Because it's very, very important, especially all the PlayStation 5 players coming, to get your captain ship. Because that allows you to join a guild and it allows you to go and uh, sell to the sovereigns and you unlock more and you make more money and everything and everything and everything. Step number one. Let's do the maiden voyage. YouTube, if, if you've done the maiden voyage already, you probably did. Uh, the video will be on chapters, you know, so so you can choose the chapter of like next after maiden voyage and stuff like that. Three hours to captain challenge. I think it'll be less than three hours. This was a part of another video, but then this part I was working on a video off stream, but this specific part got bigger and bigger in the video. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this separately. And then later when I release that video, I'll tell that video top left, click on that thing up here and watch this video. You don't need a captain ship to join a guild, but when you have your own captain ship, you can sail that in a guild so you can unlock your own milestones too. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. Okay, he said uh, good health. Coffee time. There, you look better already. Okay, so first we still have Zero ancient coins, zero doubloons, zero gold, okay? The point of this is to uh, uh, reach 250,000 uh, gold to buy your first loop. I did my own research for this, but the reason why I create live guides like that because you guys put your input to this and you make the live guide a guide on steroids because there's no guide better than creating one with your community. When you give me good ideas and they go on the stream, you get... Uh, Shout outs. There's nothing important about a shout out except uh, bragging rights, you know? <laughs> I stowed a few belongings okay. around here back Because I know where they're gonna put it, so pick this out. Ah, my old chest. The first thing you do, if you wanna explore, if you wanna do things around, do things around. But know that you should come out with at least 25k or 30k from the Maiden Void. These are the commendations, right? One of them is finding the journals. I'm not gonna find the journals because I'm lazy as heck. Number one, if you go here and you go inside the cave, you'll open many things and you'll end up finding a robot. But... 25k without boosts, yeah. So I was right, okay. Here's the robot. So technically you come back from up there, you know, if you feel like exploring is fine. It seems like finding the robot does not give you coins, but some of them do give you coins, like this one. I remember the, the, the fish gives you coins. Not so much, but it's good for another reason. So catch one fish, ruby splash tail is the most common. This is a trophy ruby, which is the bigger one, but ruby splash tail is the most common. They take longer to, to fish also. Good Hello. karma, it's a sign. Hi Jackie, how's it going? Oh no, donuts is here. Donuts is here. My kids want donuts and I'm fishing. The, the, the delivery is literally outside and I'm fishing. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Stop being stubborn. Donuts. Do not do that. This fish wants my donuts. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, see, a fine catch. Now we got 1500. I'm gonna get my donuts. I'll be back. Exactly. Do not let the fish. Donut to let the fish escape. The reason why you don't see a donut with me because already gone. While evenly distributing the donuts to my kids. We got ourselves a trophy ruby splash here. This is the most supported accommodation. This one, you see this uh, pool here? You go inside, you go all the way north, like at the top of it. Pick up old sailor's key. Then you go down and down and down and down and you open the hideout. Hidden secrets. And then you climb the ladder, go inside. Now, we only have 1,500 and we got this from 
catching the fish. That's it. You can leave the maiden voyage, by the way. We can you can finish and leave. But here's gold. Here's gold. And here's gold. There's three stashes of gold. So now we have 24k. Now we talk to him. And he says, ah. I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. Allow me to show you the path. Such a nice video made of his Golden Glory weekend. This one. Why have we got 40k? 42k. Why do I have 42k? I should have 25k. Oh, I got 15k after bringing the chest. Okay. <laughs> Last time I did this, I came out with 25. I was like, that's good. Now we got 42. So bury a chest after you finish. This is a new intro too. Oh, I want to stop the music. Welcome to the Sea of Thieves. Open waters. Six years later, and I still got the chills. Holy heck. So, now that we're all crying and I'm not crying, you're crying. Step one you leave the game. They're gonna tell you now to do tutorials, but you're still on Safer Seas. If you don't know, see if these has two versions of the game Safer Seas and High Seas. <laughs> it's like now that everything is, yeah. And that's the game, folks. Like and subscribe. We start adventure. This is safer seas. This is where you were. Okay. Yeah, everything's like 30% the reputation. It just takes very much longer, you know? Go to high seas. High seas, you meet other players. That's originally how Safe Thieves is. Safer seas is good for like story mode, which is tall tales. If you want to just do fishing and stuff like that. Commendations, like things that do numbers, but not actually reputation and gold. So you leave the game and you go to high seas and then see this my ship. Why don't you have a ship? Because you don't have 450k. 250k, sorry. You don't have 250k. So now, that's what we're going to work on. Charter a ship, sloop, close crew, you log in, and then you actually start playing the true Sea of Thieves. Let me tell you something, new players. You, there's a small chance you're going to log into high seas and you're going to get sweaty, Dorito-dripping crews that are going to come go on your ship and kill you repeatedly because they can't pick on someone their own size. That's fine. Sign out and sign back in. You'll be on another server. You know, the chance of happening, the chance of it happening is small. But the reward you get by actually sailing on, on high seas is much better than safer seas. We are here and I'm going to invite Jacques. I create, I actually created, this is no joke, I actually created Hacky. Hacky one. Hacky was just the alter ego, ego of Jackie, but now we actually have a Hacky. Even though I'm inviting Jackie, she's the captain, I'm just a cameraman, but uh, now that I invited Jackie, this still applies to solo, 100%. But if you have a friend, you know, you can follow. We're not going to do anything that is not uh, solo compatible, okay? So guys, now when you start in the beginning, everything you, have, you, everything you get in Sea of Thieves is basically through voyages, right? You go, I got it. Okay, you open, you open the quest table, you go to voyages, and then you have the factions. You choose the, for example, faction you want, and then you choose the quest. Now, some of them require levels, like level five, level 10, 15, stuff like this. That comes like, but for now, here's what we're gonna do, gold hoarder. You go like gold hoarder, tutorial, and then you take the gold hoarder tutorial, and then suddenly the pirate lord is going to come and tell you, ah, Jackie, can you uh, come uh, vote on this? All right, now we got gold hoarder voyage. Okay, the reason why you have to get the tutorial out of the way is to enable diving. If you don't do the tutorial, fun fact, you will never be able to dive. So now we're going to dig this out. Okay, this X is red. The reason why I change it to white, because I use red plants. Uh, contrast X marks the spot. So you just basically have to go to the island and circle the island. Mention seals and anchor thingy, yeah. Parking, thanks BZ. Parking, do not anchor with the sails dropped. Always keep the sails raised and the anchor raised in case someone comes, you drop sails and escape so you can relocate and, uh, and fight them. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. You see this? 
This is a gold order item. I was just acting like a new player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a gold order item. This uh, receptacle. And this you can sell it. But I want to show you the zero. I want to show you the least you can get by following this method. Of course, you watching this video, anything you find, take it and sell it. It will get you 250,000 faster. Right? There's always stuff on islands. But uh, I'm just going to take strictly what I have so I can show you the like the floor of how to reach 250k. Alright, so now we take this and you sell it to the gold order. Now here's the reason why you do not want to not be on a captain ship. You notice we are on higher seas. Here's a ship, that's a ship. But usually, like, there's a much lower chance for people to attack you. Um, I mean, people will attack you, but the reward is worth it, you know? It's gonna be lower chance to attack you. Okay, now we solve this. Hand them that chest and now we're gonna see how much... We finish the tutorial. I'll tell you why finishing the tutorial is important. Recommend Science Song to get 250k. Yes, that's a very good idea. Now, uh, once we sell this, we'll tell you about the Science Song. And I'll tell you why we're selling this. Maybe stay away from PvP when you're covered enough. Yeah, but who's attacking Skull of Science Song, honestly? It's the most empty. No one cares. Like, you can get attacked, but who's... Every faction, like this, I'll tell you why we did the tutorial. Now that you did the tutorial, you unlocked the ability to dive. The reason why you want to dive is because of what Kocha said. Skull of Science Song. Now, we need to reach 50k. We don't care about leveling up yet. Okay? You just have to unlock one of the tutorials. So this voyage by the capstan, there's a very high chance that it's going to be there. If it's not there, let's pretend it's not here. I'll show you what you'll do. But if it's here, take it. This is a PvP voyage. Now, the word PvP, don't worry about it. This is a very high reward compared to what you can lose. If you think, who cares? You just go to another server, you know? You only need this to work four times. Four of this, only four times. You have to do this for you to get your first captainship. You can do that in the first session. So you click here, and you accept the quest. This is a PvP quest where you become visible to other maps on the server. But literally 9 out of 10 times, at least for most people, no one does it. You can look at this, mark both islands. One is Shipwreck Bay, of course I know these, and the other one is Lonely Isle, here. So, there's a chest and there's a key. You have to get them, open the key with a, uh, the chest with a key, you get a skull, and then you sell the skull in a location that we revealed in the end. And then you make 50k. That's faster than anything else you can do. And it's not Hourglass, which is a different type of PvP. Okay, it's like a safe PvP. Because you'll notice now, most probably, we're not going to even be harmed at all. So first, we're going to go to the first island here. It's X marks a spot. That's why we did Gold Hoarder. You see the X marks a spot? You did the tutorial now. It's that, but twice. Here's one X. And here's one X. So we're going to go here. And based on the map... So this one is here, right? Let's go there. This is reinforced PvP experience. Yeah, famous last words. Yeah. <laughs> if you get attacked, you're probably not gonna win. If 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 it's brand new, you know. But that's why we did the tutorial first. That's why you have to do the tutorial first. Okay. That's one setting I've had from the early days. Let's see if I can buy X. a better gun. Most welcome, my friend. Yeah, if, if I wasn't saving for 250k, I would immediately buy another pistol. But uh, uh, I'll tell you why later. But uh, this pistol is okay for now. Just go in the Makai and Tall Tail. Boy, that was the slowest ending in the history of everything. Yeah. This <laughs> is first ever server in history that has five ships trying to get the skull. That would be nice, right? <laughs> I did one Siren Song per day in November, December. It was a nice thing to do for my daily quick see if these check in. Made some nice gold, letter four. Yeah. The Skull of Siren. The Skull of Siren is available, it's always available. It's not temporary. Rocket is in pain, someone made him a redeemed to fish. But as for a rare fish, just to troll him, very nice. 
GG for the stream. <laughs> How many days delayed? Uh, I think eight days. So now we're gonna get the chest and the key. Was in the Pirate Legend hideout. I noticed that when I was playing. Uh, recently she was added there. It's like a lore thing that's gonna happen. I don't know. Of course, um, Skull of Siren Song has its own commendations. Dig up a chest or a key. Uh, unlock a chest of Siren Song. Return a Skull of Siren to Captain Briggsy. Uh, yeah, that's it. Wow, they nerfed it. Oh, this is a great one. Never mind. Next video Siren Song and why you should accept it as a new player. Yep. And then all new, then the, <laughs> everyone's gonna be doing it. I can't afford a pistol, it's 10k. <laughs> so. Okay, so now, here's the map. You zoom in, uh, it's F on PC, to the map, and what is it on, on, uh, Okay. I got trials. This this happens randomly. You know, visiting islands, eating bananas. So you're gonna keep adding slowly, okay? Rock right here. So this one should be right here, under it, okay? There it is. We got the chest. We're gonna get skeletons. So now we took this. If someone digs out the key while you're doing this, you'll get a notification. So don't worry about it, okay? Like, obviously that means you have to worry about it. You have to go fight them. If that's the case and you don't want to fight them, I'll tell you what to do now. You can just discard the chest and dive into another server. This is the main reason why I told you to do the tutorial first. Because if you don't finish a tutorial of any of the quests, you will not be able to uh, dive. You cannot dive at all. So now let's say you got a message that someone dug out the key and they're coming to fight you. You can literally discard this in the water and go like this, voyage, gold hoarder, click on this. Okay, it will tell you that you unlock diving. You click on this and you choose dive to location. Just so you can go to another server. Diving takes you somewhere else. Now we're gonna go to the other island and dig out the key. There's a cooldown to diving. There is a cooldown to diving, but I'll show you why we did Gold Hoarder in the first place. Why we did not choose um, Merchant or Order of Souls to finish a tutorial. It gives you a brief, a small uh, lesson on how to do X marks a spot, where you need it for the Skull of Siren song. Fun fact, this is only visible to the map to people that opt into this voyage. The fact that you don't see that the other one hasn't been dug out and there's no one around, most probably, no one even voted for it. That's not it, right? I don't think that's the island we're going to. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, ours is ahead of us. If they go to the island and you don't want to fight them, you're still new. I'm not joking. Throw this in the water and dive. I'll show you the diving part now. Like, basically, we did the tutorial to unlock the dive. By the way, what you can do while sailing around is like what Jackie's doing. Keep launching to islands. Keep jumping to islands. So you can unlock commendations. Islands visited. That will actually speed up. Yeah. You're, you're here, let's do that. How can you get money fast? Literally, that's the video we're doing now. Do not sword launch next to this. See, islands visit. Now you just take the mermaid back. These sometimes have barrels. They have loot, so you can use your harpoon to take it. Like that. You know, you can take the items. Sometimes there's loot here. You can find a chest, you can find something to make you good money. So now we are on the other island where the key is. Make sure if you reach an island, there are no mermaids around. Mermaids like around, that means someone's hiding here in case someone wants to steal the stuff they already found. Like I said, if you want to know how to launch type extension mark sword in the chat, it's a YouTube short or check the video that's up on the top right of the video. So this one here, northwest of it. Ignore these guys for now. 
You can fight them. By the way, these guys who drop gems, they'll also give you money. That you can sell. But right now... Okay. Got the key. And run. So, so there was a skeleton captain here. Jackie just killed. He drops... Uh, he drops a... Uh, Skull and skeleton orders. These, if you take them, it will give you here. Let me take this. It will give you X marks a spot on this island. It will give you actually expensive items too. But again, I'm I'm avoiding everything so I can show you the worst you can do in this really good strategy. And thanks to the chat too for all the help. Shout out chat, you're all amazing. Once you open the chest, the skull curses your shit, and it becomes slower. But that's not a big deal because. For a highly competitive PvP voyage, there's so many ships coming towards me, I don't even know where to start. So, I can take the storage here, right? Yeah, I can. So unlock the chest. So now, this. Now you see this on your ship? You can, by the way, use this to, to as a weapon. You know. You see that? That's where you need to sell this. This, by the way, is only visible to people that opt into this voyage. So the other ship we saw earlier does not see this. They do not know that you are going to sell this there. They do not see this on the map. Nothing. This is only visible to people that opt in. The YouTube, I said like and subscribe. Choco says like and subscribe. Listen to him. He's a pirate you don't want to meet in the seas. So he'll spare you if you like and subscribe. They also patched it so no one can opt in. The chest is open. Really? Colonel Q, thank you so much. Colonel Q, shout out. I didn't know that. Uh, so it used to be people opting in after so they can find it and steal it. But now it seems like the fact that this is... The chest is open, based on what Colonel said, that's... We're pretty much done here because... No one knows we have the skull because no one opted in. And we are the only ones that can actually see where to sell it. So technically, you're good. All right, so now we reached where we need to sell this. We didn't even sell anything. We finished the maiden voyage. We buried the chest there. We have more than 50k. Now we're going to go here. You should hear Briggsy telling you over here like that. So... <laughs> 52k. We are gonna get two. Use your sword. Use your gun. Use your gun. Now this is gonna stop spawning. 50k. Yeah. Savior of Siren Song. Now, uh, 100k out of the 250k to buy our ship. This is why we wanted to dive. You finished this quest, right? Now you need to do this three more times only to get your captain ship. And it's but not visible. you're grabbing all the stuff on the islands. Exactly. Uh, it's gonna be less than three times. So now you go like this. You vote. Here's why we did Gold Hoarder. Because Gold Hoarder is actually the fastest way to move servers. If someone's bothering you or if you want to go to this. Now, instead of waiting for this to spawn again. You vote again. Gold Hoarder. Pirate Treasure Map. This only unlocks if you finish the tutorial. That's why you use Gold Hoarder. You click on it. Then you go. Dive to location. Click yes. You vote on it, and your friend votes on it. And then you set sail. Now what's gonna happen is, you're gonna lose this chest. We finished it already. You can sell it. But... Doesn't really matter now. You dive, and you set sail, and you just wait... Until the ship... Goes to another server. The reason why you're going to another server is because... It could appear a new Skull of Siren voyage on your map. Now, here's the thing. Remember earlier when I said, if someone's coming to you, throw the chest in the water and dive? That's what you do. If you dig out the first chest and you see someone else coming to you, you are not there to PvP. You're just trying to speedrun your 250k. Not speedrun, like kind of get it done. If someone's coming to you in the beginning, you do that. You already unlock the diving. So you just throw the chest in the water, dive uh, for a uh, gold hoarder voyage, 
and then you go to another server and then you can start again. Most probably when you go to another server, there's gonna be another Skull of Siren. If there isn't, it's okay. Wait a bit, you'll get one. You can finish normal quests until then. We're just waiting now until... Yep, now it's going down. Firewolf, thank you so much for the tier one. So now you're underwater. Don't worry about bailing. This is uh, how you go from one server to another. Okay, now we're coming back. Okay, what you see here is the Gold Hoarder Voyage. Okay. The, the reason why we did Gold Hoarder, there is a cooldown between diving. So now we're going here. Okay, now, Jack, you can dig one. I'll dig one, it's fine. This is fireworks. So I'll dig this one here. See, guys, here? It's by the tree. This is the tree. Voyage complete. Now that the voyage is complete, we can already dive to another server. But we'll sell this first, because you're already doing gold order, and uh, you can buy time until the Skull of Siren song uh, appears again. Voyages of gold. Now we should get reputation. So this one we found on the island, and these two are... This and this is fireworks. Now you look where the outpost is, which is we have here. Let's go to Daggertooth again, and then we sell. Now, you know what's good? We went to another server, right? And we already have the three items in us, right? Look what's good. Our friend is back because we're on another server. If we're still on that same server, this is on cooldown, like once an hour or something. It won't appear. So now, we guaranteed another 50k while we do the Gold Hoarder Voyage. Lineman's Lagoon. Fly there. Using the cannon. So you can get the island's discovered uh, message in a bottle. These, I have a full video about them. Take them when you find them. But check the top right. I have a full video about these. These are insanely good with money. So I'm going to take one now. All right. Insanely good with money. Now, not just a bit, insanely good. So we're gonna take this. So this one here, on every outpost, there's this mass thing. These are the sovereigns. They only deal with captains. So if you don't have a captain ship, which we're working towards, you cannot sell to them. These, you can sell everything to them when you become a captain ship, which makes life easier. So let's say you have like two skulls from one faction, three merchant, five chests and stuff. You can sell it all here and each one will count. It's like they sell the stuff for you, so it makes it way easier. Again, everything we're doing can be done solo, but you can do it duo. And don't forget, Rocha, thank you so much again. My Discord has almost 30,000 members, probably 30,000 by the time this video comes out. Uh, based on the Sea of Thieves community, you can always uh, join people to sail with. Family friendly, very welcoming, whether you're new or a very sweaty veteran. We have all of them in the Discord, and they always like to help you out. So. That should be in the description below. Or maybe appearing here. Here. On the stream. <laughs> okay, Haki is going to get the last chest. Look at the money now rolling in. Bling, bling. All right, so now the fact that you reach level five, there are things called promotions. These unlock higher levels. Like if I go right now to the table, I'm actually going to show you. Voyages Gold Order. Look here, Riddle. I cannot unlock a Riddle level 5, even though I'm level 5. So you have to reclaim your promotion from the NPC so you can unlock the next step. We did reach level 5. So we are going to go to the Gold Order. Well, is that you? Yeah. Okay. By the way, we are on higher seas, high seas. This, there are other ships, but sometimes it just be like that, depending on your time zone. Sometimes, literally, you feel like you're on an empty server, which is good for early starts. That's why you leave the safer seas and you move to a high seas right after the tutorial. Now we go here, open gold order shop, claim promotions, and you claim the promotion. You can get fancy shovels and stuff, but don't spend anything now. Don't buy anything. So now we got one shop item, two new voyages from the quest table. 
Your ship now looks like a brand new ship. Go to one of these journals, Glitterbeard journals. Read them. And now, you got a flag. You go to the tavern. My maiden voyage. Now you unlock the glitter beard seals. You got free seals. You didn't pay for them. The full video about this, the full video about this is up here. It talks about so many things they can get for free as a new player. Oh, there's a ship coming towards us. Nice. Gold order too. Let's go. See why we're not anchored? Because you can just like scram out of here. Jack, here's what's gonna happen. If they see it, they're gonna kill you. <laughs> and then you... So now we sold the chests, right? And the best part is... It's okay, if they fight, I'll... I'll, I'll tell them, I'm brand new to the game, please don't do anything. I'm brand new, please leave me alone. Yes. When they see you fighting, they might uh, figure it out you're not as brand new as you say, or you look. <laughs> Come on. Come on, can you, like, let me go? If I miss the whole battle, I'll be mad. Do not touch my ship, man. Do not. Okay, now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and get uh, our Glitterbeard sails that we unlocked. There it is. Oh, <gasps> someone's mad. Okay, let's go. I'll show you another way to defend your ship, guys, okay? Once you hear the... Denied! <laughs> we can sink them and leave their stuff on the dock for for another uh, person to get. Jackie, are they by the sovereigns? Can you go check? Jackie is carrying. I'm coming. Come, I need to eat. I'm gonna take from his ship. Okay, I'm gonna drop my anchor. So they won't steal the ship. We interrupt this guide with a bit of PvP, which is a part of high seas, it's fine. By the way, sometimes you get this weird feeling that if someone sinks you, they're toxic. They're not, that's a part of the game. You took their ship? Yeah. Okay, nice, Jackie. Uh, ram it to the island, I'm coming from the side here. Jackie, remember, that's not our ship. Do sail like I do. The rig of Oh my gosh, why can't I? You around him? Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. Where? Why can't I get this guy? What's wrong with me? Jackie, teach me. <laughs> Is our ship fine? Um, well, the other guy could be on it. I should have done He's that dead. from the top. You know what? I'm gonna help you kill them faster so they can sink faster. I mean, it's 2v2, it's fair. Oh. They keep spawning bottom deck. I'm gonna stay here. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Ooh. Can you do it? Oh, that's you. He's here. <laughs> I'm bringing a ship, I'm bringing a ship. Jack, kill them both. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna sink them because... 
still down? Bye. Okay. Jackie, was it just a little Jackie? Yeah, they might run now. Dude, I want to finish the video. Just stay there and sink. Who's Jackie? I've never heard of her. My name's Hacky. I killed one. Why is logic from back there? How's it going, man? I got bottom deck, don't worry about it. Just keep at him. One of them left the ship. One is coming. That's fine. Bottom top. Oh, they sunk. Don't pick a fight you can't pick. Done. Don't pick a fight you can't win, Fuzzy. Stop with the pick. Okay, I know, but it's more content and fun like this. Look at that, guys. Look. Like, they could, we literally left. They could have just sold and kept the loot. That's very tempting to sell, but I'm not... Stop it, man. They have, like, 20k of loot at least here. More. More than 20k of loot. 30k, probably. Let it sink. I'm sorry, guys, but... We're I not mean, gonna sell it. And we need at to least the flag. At least can we take the flag? You can take the flag. Okay, guys, we'll show it, but we'll sell the flag after we reach 250k. If you remember our route, we sold the stuff here. Right? We sold the stuff. We we came from north. Wait, we had a, a quest here. This one. We got two chests from here. We sold them here. On the way there, we got a message in a bottle that gave us this island. Which is... We're gonna do... I'm gonna show you how amazing that is. Then, we are gonna continue to Kraken's Fall, get the chest and Cutlass Key to get the key, and then we'll continue and sell at Plunder Outpost. So everything is in route. It's really good. You'll see now how much good coins we're gonna do. Ooh, this one, when it appears, sink it and take the loot. It gives you more stuff. But right now, we're just gonna ignore it. So we got a message in a bottle. Now we got another message in a bottle. This gives you Order of Souls. And this gives you Merchant. But we are not going to do the other ones. Okay. Now we are on this island. There are four X marks a spot. Oh, here's a chest. Nice. Ooh, with gold hoarded stuff inside too. Yeah, we can take the Harpoon Robot. Okay, this is is the highest tier gold order item with messages in a bottle. You're gonna love this. So so you by going to all these islands, you will definitely find a message in a bottle. Like 100 percent But of course I can't tell a new player. Today we're gonna show you how to make 250k. Find a stack chip and sink it. <laughs> that doesn't work. I mean, we did it, we're new players. We are Smurfs. You, you can, you can actually check. I only have two hours and forty minutes of my game. Yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> that's not a lie. So we have Kraken's Fall. Yes. So YouTube, now we are at Dow Post. We are going to sell. It's the first time Jackie parks. It's okay. Um, we're going to sell. No, you're the one. I thought you raised the sales fully. I realized they're still half down. Uh, I never crash unless I hit something. Um, so here, again, if you're captain ship, you can sell it here. Look, we do have the beacon. PvP. Supposed to be PvP. Second time. No one's attacking us. Now, these chests that we get from message in a bottle. Okay, let's sell this. So how much each chest gives you? Should we sell this one? 3,000. What's up? We sell the... No, no, we need to open it. Oh. Oh, yeah, we didn't do it, actually. Now we sold them. We're going to continue. Okay, I'm going to continue down there. So, yeah, remember, guys, thanks to Lockfin, this guy here, which still looks like we created him, we didn't customize anything, will be... Uh, all his journey will be documented on stream 
for him to become pirate legend. We have the captain ship. We uh, we will do the emissaries. We will do hourglass. We will do everything. We'll show you what he went through to become pirate legend, and everything he does will be a part of a guide. New players would like another pirate legend guide. Yeah, we will do that. And here's the key. There it is. Let's go. Of course, there will be times where we'll be hyped again if they add commendations behind it and stuff like that. But uh, uh, generally speaking, it's uh, a very easy and convenient way. Like I said, if someone comes and you don't want to deal with them, you're scared, you're nervous, it's okay. It happens at the beginning. Literally, throw it in the water, dive, and then, you know, uh, go to another server. But of course, for you to dive, the ship cannot be closer than two and a half squares away. It's two squares, but sometimes like up to three. Like if you're here, if you are here, for example, and there's a ship here, I don't think you can dive. It'll tell you a rival ship nearby. So make sure you do that before. Easy. Okay, we're selling. Now, let's go. We're nearing 250K. We're literally almost there. Of course, we're taking time. We fought people. We, we messed around. Now that we finished this, we're gonna cancel this voyage and dive again. Because our goal is to get our last skull of science. I think when we get the third one, we'll be at 250k with all the stuff that we find. We'll vote to the basic one because we just want to dive. And then... We'll go again. Remember, this thing is not here anymore. That's what we're looking for. That's why we keep diving. And now we're going to another server. Alright, two X is mar X marks the spot. And now we'll see soon if we'll get one of these. It should be very soon now. And voila! There we go. Again, you notice you load in not a few minutes. It's not guaranteed, but there's a very, very high chance when you go to a new server for it to spawn again. So Okay. Again, we have Long Cove and nice, this is close. And the other one is this one. So now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dig it out from here, get the key and sell it. And we'll take messages in a bottle on the way. So this will be the, our last uh, adventure to 250k. And then we can get our captain ship. You know what? Because this is the last time, there's no way that a person that can go to... See, yeah, yeah, wait. Person is gonna go to all these islands and not find stuff. So this time, we're gonna take the stuff. So we have a key, we have a note, we have this. We can take all these gold pouches. If you get a normal skeleton, not this Ashen Guardian, uh, which is also mentioned in my video, things you can quickly get, uh, you will you will get other stuff. So we slowly faded in to how you do this. First, we did it raw. Then we got some stuff, then now we're taking captains. So, if you're doing this, like I said, and you're taking everything, 250k, you would have probably finished it at least an hour ago, if not more. We're still not done, of course, I'm gonna show you something else. Your main driver has to be the Skull of Siren song. And then you do fill in in between. Messages in a bottle and stuff like that. Here's another guy, we can kill him for the skull. All right, Jackie here. Uh, wait, you don't need to have on this one. So we're taking everything now. In the beginning, we showed you how it is without any of this. Now we're taking everything. Again, this video accompanies very well with with my other video, things you can quickly get as a new player. So now we have two X marks a spot here. One we got from the skeleton now, skeleton captain, which is. Nice, we got wind. Oh wait, let me show you something. We have a harpoon robot, right? So now you see this curse on the ship. I wanna get there faster. I'm gonna take the skull, put it on this robot. You need two players for two people for this in case. Okay, Jackie, you can drop sails. Is 
the ship cursed or no? No. Okay, now the curse of the skull is not on the ship. You have it? Yeah, let's yep. go. Me. Easy. This is the normal skeleton captain, which is even better. Look at the money! We are nearing 250k. The stuff we have are probably worth 250k. Now, take your payment. It's very richly deserved. No. I'm leaving before this place is overrun. We, we are only 16k away from the captain ship. And uh, uh, this, this barely took us any time. The stuff that we got with this skull should give us 250k. So now we're going to sell these things. Dagger Tooth is one of the better outposts to sell in because Galleon's Grave is bigger. Like this one, everything's right in front of you. So smaller outposts are better when you don't have a captain ship. Now these skulls go for the uh, Order of Souls. You can sell stuff from inside the chest. I recommend to sell all the extra chests that are sellable to any faction. Sell all gold hoarder content. There it is. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put these here. And I'm gonna sell the chest to him. We can get more reputation. It's not much, but you know... It's honest work. Oh, you can sell this just like the normal chests. And Jackie, by the way, Jackie, hold on. Jackie has these uh, um, tomes. Okay, let me remove this. These, so I'm sure, you sell them here to Larina. So you can sell them, Jackie, if you want. I, again, my other video talks about this. Where did we even get this one? I don't remember. And now, Skull. Skull. Nice. Skull. Skull. You can sell this one here. Can we sell this one? Yeah. It's all time. Brand new players. Me and Jackie. The session will be very short. Technically speaking. Very, very short. Like no more than two hours. But we fought other ships. We did other things. YouTube, you know. So now that's how you get 250,000 to buy your first captain ship in maximum two hours. If you're solo, maybe up to three hours, you can actually get 250,000 to buy your first captain ship. So now we're gonna go get our first captain ship, leaving the game. This is a reputation of getting Order of Souls from the other stuff that we sold. Adventure. High seas my ships and purchase ship now you actually unlock the full experience of sea of thieves sloop the pirate guide the guide boat anyways ah captain i see you're ready for your next grand adventure but before you set sail there is something we should attend to I'll meet you aboard your ship. In less than two hours, YouTube, in less than two hours, you can get your first captain ship. She's a fine so you can actually unlock the I full experience of Sea of Thieves. Improvements. Starting with her name. Allow me. Now, in less than two hours, we stream for four hours right now, but in less than two hours, you can actually do this because we do other things on stream. We raised 250,000, me and Jackie, but you can do it solo, you know, and bought our first captain ship. If you guys want, my Discord has three guilds. You can start your own guild. You can pledge your ship to our guild. You can do whatever you want, but I stream five times a week on Twitch and I do all your YouTube videos. Obviously, you're watching YouTube. So... Thank you so much for tuning in, take care, and until next time.